Hello and welcome. In this session, we will discuss about gastrointestinal agents. After completion of this video, the students will be able to explain gastrointestinal disturbances, classify inorganic gastrointestinal agents, discuss a chlorhydria and acidifying agents. Inorganic gastrointestinal agents are the drugs which are used to treat gastrointestinal disturbance are called as gastrointestinal agents. As you know very well, the gastrointestinal tract that is GIT consists of series of organs for the digestion of food right from ingestion of food to the expulsion of waste as a feces. GIT starts from esophagus just immediately after oral cavity followed by sequentially by stomach, the small intestine, large intestine and lastly rectum with exist anus. Each organ has definite functional role. In the event of impaired function of each organs, then it is called as gastrointestinal disturbances. It consists of the following conditions, a chlorhydria, hyperacidity, diarrhea and constipation. These are the disease related to the GIT. That's why it is called as gastrointestinal disturbance. A chlorhydria. It is the condition in which there is absence or insufficient secretion of hydrochloric acid in stomach leading to a chlorhydria. It is also called as hypochlorhydria. Hypo means lower than that of normal value. So hydrochloric acid is a less than that of normal value. That's why it is also called as hypoacidity. The symptoms of a chlorhydria includes there is frequent bowel movements or mild diarrhea, epigastric pain and sensitivity to spicy food. Second condition is hyperacidity. There is excessive secretion of hydrochloric acid in stomach leads to hyperacidity. Due to hyperacidity, it may lead to imbalance of acid enzyme ratio. If hyperacidity remains untreated and it is prolonged period, then it may lead to peptic ulcer or duodenal ulcer. There is inflammation to the intestines and acute pain of abdomen. So it should be treated immediately. Third condition is diarrhea that is accumulation of toxins, gases, toxic substances, bacteria or viral infection or insufficient absorption of fluids or electrolytes in intestine. It stimulates the intestine motility leading to frequent stools. It is called as diarrhea. Then last condition is constipation that is insufficient intestine motility or peristalsis movement leading to constipation. So these are the four gastrointestinal disturbances and these are the gastrointestinal agents. For example, acidifying agents, antacids, protectives and adsorbents and saline catheretics. So inorganic GI agents are mainly employed for the agents for altering gastric pH that is acidifier which decreases the gastric pH, antacid which increase the gastric pH, protectives for intestinal inflammation, adsorbents for intestinal toxins and catheretics for the constipations. So this is the classification of inorganic gastrointestinal agent. Class first is acidifying agent, second is antacid, third is protectives and adsorbents and fourth one is saline catheretics. Acidifying agents are also called as gastric acidifier. The agent which are used to treat a chlorhydria or hypochlorhydria. These agents which are useful to increase the gastric acidity.
फॉर एग्जाम्पल डायल्यूट हाइड्रोक्लोरिक एसिड सेकेंड क्लास इज एंटासिड एंटासिड्स आर यूज टू न्यूट्रलाइज द एक्सेस ऑफ एसिड प्रेजेंट इन स्टमक एंड इट हेल्प्स टू लोअर द एसिडिटी ऑफ गैस्ट्रिक कंटेंट फॉर एग्जाम्पल सोडियम बाय कार्बोनेट देन नेक्स्ट इज प्रोटेक्टिव एंड एड्जॉर्बंट्स विच आर यूज इन द ट्रीटमेंट ऑफ माइल्ड डायरिया और डिसेंट्री आर कॉल्ड एज प्रोटेक्टिव एंड एड्जॉर्बंट्स फॉर एग्जाम्पल बिस्मत सब कार्बोनेट केओलिन लास्ट क्लास इज सलाइन कैथरेटिक्स दीज एजेंट्स आर यूजफुल फॉर क्विकनिंग और इंक्रीजिंग द इवैक्शन फ्रॉम द बॉयल द सलाइन कैथरेटिक्स आर यूज टू गेट रिलीफ फ्रॉम कंस्टिपेशन फॉर एग्जाम्पल फेनॉल ऑफ थैलिन सेन्ना मैग्नेशियम सल्फेट सो हियर इज रिफ्लेक्शन क्वीज सो जस्ट पॉज अ वीडियो फॉर फ्यू मिनिट्स एंड थिंक ऑन दीज क्वेश्चन एंड ट्राई टू गेट आंसर ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज वॉट इज अ क्लोरहाइड्रिया एंड सेकेंड क्वेश्चन इज नेम द ड्रग यूज इन द ट्रीटमेंट ऑफ अ क्लोरहाइड्रिया पॉज अ वीडियो फॉर वाइल एंड देन प्ले इट माइट बी यू आर विथ द आंसर ऑफ अ क्लोरहाइड्रिया येस इट इज करेक्ट द अबसेंस और इनसफिशियंट सिक्रीशन ऑफ हाइड्रोक्लोरिक एसिड इन स्टमक लीडिंग टू अ क्लोरहाइड्रिया it is also called as hypochlorhydria the best agent to treat the achlorhydria is dilute hydrochloric acid correct because achlorhydria there is lack of hydrochloric acid in stomach in order to treat the achlorhydria we required the acidifying agents acidifying agents are nothing but the gastric acidifier means the agents which are used to increase the acidity of stomach are called as gastric acidifier so these agents are useful for the treatment of a chlorhydria or hypochlorhydria or hypoacidity for example dilute hydrochloric acid dilute hydrochloric acids are taken as follows 5 ml dose of dilute hydrochloric acids are added to 200 ml of water while administering the dilute hcl we have to follow the standard recommendation so while taking the dilute hcl we have to use a drinking straw lay well back to the tongue because it should be recommended that there is direct exposure of dental enamel with dilute hcl leads to damage of dental enamel to avoid the direct exposure we have to use a straw so so far we have discussed the gastrointestinal disturbances we have seen the classification of inorganic gastrointestinal agents and we have discussed in deep a chlorhydria and acidifying agent in next video we will discuss the antacid thank you for watching this video Thank you very much happy learning